I made video about Bamboo Lab X1 add-ons upgrades which were mostly 3D printed. This video will be about Big 3 Tech add-ons upgrades. Before I start I will show what upgrades add-ons I am still using. I use extended door handle. It's easier to open the door and it looks like original handle. The best add-on I printed is AMS riser with LED light upgrade. I printed it with PLA and it holds up nicely. Side spool holder. I am also using filament poop shoot. I did use glitter PLA which isn't the best option for that. Filament will pile up sometimes. And HSW with different two holders. Inside the printer I use powder tube guide and poop shoot cut out cover. Other covers I printed with PLA and they fell off because PLA went softer by the heat inside and I didn't see any point to print again with different filament. These add-ons upgrades are sent to me by Peak 3 Tech so that I can give my opinion about this product. First thing I will install is Panda Revo. Inside the box we can find QR code which will direct you to the Peak 3 Tech wiki page where you can find instructions. You will also get one big E3D sticker hot end. Information card. Panda Revo is a hot end upgrade. Before I replace the hot end, I will take off AMS riser with tool wall. Replacement is quite easy, but you need to be careful when you remove connectors. Some of them are glued in place. New one don't come with the fan, so you need to use the old fan. They are quite similar from the outside, but uh, what is different? Bamboo Lab hot end flow rate is 32 mi cubic millimeters per second and Revo is 40 cubic millimeters per second. And the heat core is also bigger on Revo 60 watts and X1 original 40 watts. So it will have a little more flow and it will heat faster. Biggest difference is the quick change nozzles. Changing nozzle is easy and don't take much time. Nozzle is changed when hotend is cold by just unscrewing it by hand. There are different type and size nozzles available and you can change them faster and easier than without hotend. If you don't have 3D printer but you need something to 3D print, just type in PCBWeight com and start ordering your stuff. There are many different types of 3D printing you can choose from. Different materials. PCB also makes custom PCBs. They provide CNC milling series, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. Next upgrade is Panda Jet Omnidirectional Part Cooling Fan Duct. Inside the box, we can find QR code. Again, one sticker and also X key for assembly. To replace the fan duct you need to take off two screws and if you have the latest model it will also have some glue holding it in place. So the difference is the air comes out from the both sides on bamboo duct and panda jet as hole in every corner. It fits together with front cover nicely. Front cover don't go in place like it did before. Now you need to put hot end into the fan duct and then you can fix it in place with magnets. Next one is Panda Fur. It's a leather wrap for a printer. It's advertised as scratch resistant. It should add insulation and reduce noise. Inside the tube are leather pieces, scraper, knife and another sticker. The protective film was annoying to remove little pieces stuck on the leather wrap. There are also available pink and brown colors. Applying the wrap isn't difficult, it just takes some time to do it. You can also print tools which help you to cut the leather wrap. Side pieces are a little bigger, so you need to cut them. Front pieces are pre-cut. Screen is need to be removed before. There is also Panda Tor PC upgrade panel. This one is orange color. There are also more colors. 
X1 as glass door. If it breaks, you will have glass pieces everywhere, but with the bandit door, you don't need to be afraid that. So next thing is the panda branch, which gives more ports to your 3D printer. You can use it to power your add-ons like extra light or screen. Inside the box are all the screws you need, cable and also rubber duck. Case STL is available at Maker World. I printed it with BTG. It will be installed to the back of the printer where spool holder is. You can still have original spool holder, but side holder can't be installed anymore. I like the size pool holder, so I need to find another place to mount it. Connection is easy, the cable from the printer goes to the top of the bran panda branch. The cable from the package goes to the second connection on the branch and the second end comes to the filament buffer. On the bottom is four USB connections. I will connect my extra light there, no I don't need extra power adapter. Last add-ons are build plates. These are double-sided plates. One has carbon fiber look on one side and texture PIA on the other. Second one has a texture PIA on one side and smooth PIA on the other side. The texture PIA side works great. Printer recognized them and adhesion is good, but I had problems with other sides. On the other side, there aren't any markings, so printer don't recognize them. Need to confirm manually. The leveling is not correct when using the sides. With the carbon side, nozzle it little too close to the bed and it affects the pattern. Smooth PIA side was worse. Nozzle too far from the bed. I did calibration and auto leveling still nozzle was too far from the bed. I don't know is it plate issue or printer has some issues. Upgrades add-ons are now installed. I printed some things before the upgrade and same prints again after to see if there are any differences. On the left are prints before upgrade and on the right is after. I use same filament and same settings. The printing results with PLA are almost the same. I tried also print TPU and PTG. TPU came out better than I printed it before. This is when I reviewed this printer. The cooling issue is gone. Let's finish this video with my opinion and thoughts about them. Panda Revo didn't show any differences in print quality, but the quick nozzle change system is great. But the price not so good. Revo costs about 150 euros. It's about 128 USD. It comes with brass nozzle, which limits different filament use. X1 comes with hardened steel nozzle. Wear resistant nozzle costs about 58 euros. It's about 65 USD. Pambula Potens complete kit, which includes stainless steel, 0.2 mm hardened steel, 0.4 and 0.6 mm nozzle potens. And also includes. So, for better print quality, I would not make this upgrade, but for faster and easier nozzle change, maybe yes. Panda Jet didn't make difference when I printed PLA, but the TPU cooling issue when I printed 3D Benchy is gone. The, also, the price is ok, 25 euros, which is about 28 USD. Panda Fur definitely don't upgrade printing performance. It's made for protection, insulation, and it should reduce noise. I didn't notice noise change. It may hold heat better, but I think it don't make much difference. Protection wise, I think I don't need it. It's more for changing the appearance of the printer, which not for me. I am not fan of these colors. I like the original look more. But if you like it, buy it. But if you don't like it, you can always remove it. It said it don't leave any adhesive residue when removing it. Panda door, if you are afraid that your glass door will break, then you should buy it, or when you have broken your glass door, buy it, it's cheaper. I like glass door more, it feels and looks much better, it's my opinion, you may like panda door more. If you don't run around with your printer and if you don't have anger issues, your printer's glass door should be fine. I use extra LED light with AMS riser, but if you want only the light, you can buy panda looks, it's cheap and can be connected directly to your printer. 
I like the build blades. Texture PIA blade addition is good. Articulated lizard printed without problems. Different pattern gives a nice look for the first layer. I had some issues with the leveling, but I managed to get some prints. There can be some issue with my printer. I saw some good results from other users. So that's it for these upgrades and add-ons. If you want this yourself, you can visit Big Tree Tech website. The link is in the description. And as I said before, it's my opinion about these products. You may have different one. If you find this video useful or interesting, you can leave a like. If you have any questions about these products, you can comment below. I will try to answer them. Also, big thanks to Big Tree Tech for sending me these products, and thank you for watching.